Hello and welcome back to a brand new video with Minish U243 and you finally have some brand new information and some actually or let's say another way we finally have uh, some information about well the next Grand Prix which is starting in about a couple of days from me recording and publishing this video so uh, let's take a look at what uh, actually is uh, available in this Grand Prix to see what we can actually uh, expect and stuff, I guess. And um, let's start with the fact that Nina Cortex is coming. Uh, her stage is called Nina's Nightmare. Uh, we also have, of course, um, screenshot showing off what we can actually get in this uh, Grand Prix itself, including uh, custom like skins like Komodo Mo is finally coming. And Brio is also finally coming. We're also gonna um, uh, a Lion Pura skin, um, a new skin for Entrance, a uh, Dark Coco skin too, which is uh, definitely a reference to uh, the content from uh, uh, well, the Crash games, of course. Coco was supposed to be Evil Coco, but is now represented as Dark Coco because Evil Coco is now the skin from Mind of Mutants thing kinda anyway and uh, Dingo Doll seems to also be having a new costume uh, we also have a Metalhead Oxide uh, we'll be getting a Monster Fake Crash that is interesting uh, we also have a Witch Tunnel which you also see in the picture up here uh, we also have a Papa Papa skin, a pirate one, which we also, I think we also have already seen, but I wanted to wait for mentioning it because, well, I want more information before I started covering this. Yeah, pretty. Anyway, if you look at the tiers here, there is 18 new items to unlock with the Nitro points. Uh, most of them, one of them is the first one is of course a car, and there seems to be some stickers and. Um, colors wheel and then Nina Cortex is of course right there in the bronze tier then going over to the silver tier we go over to stickers more colors in other stickers car customizations and stuff and then of course we have monster tiny which is a really cool skin too you can actually see it in the picture itself and next we I think it looks really cool uh, going over to the gold tier, we have more cards, and we have more wheels, and more stickers to unlock, including a uh, super skin thingy for uh, Nina Cortex, which actually looks really cool and interesting itself. I can't wait to see it and give this stage a try, because I think the stage looks really interesting, and due to the trailer that showed off, and I can't really wait to see what this stage has, or how this stage feels like in the Constantine, maybe finding the shortcuts and stuff like that. Uh, including that, we also now have the ability to... Um, well, we can raise any character we want, at any stat we want, that is freaking awesome too. Uh, including the fact, which I think is really cool, because now you're not... You know, now we can use your favorite character in the style you prefer. Which is great, in my opinion. Uh, I also like the... You know, this whole grandpa in general just looks really awesome in, in, in itself. We also have uh, another screenshot, of course. Uh, screenshots going on here, uh, where we also can see uh, the gold tier costume for Nina in action, as well as, say, uh, you know, a spooky, I don't know what you call the costume, but it's for Embryo uh, himself. And of course, you have which Tana, which also is seen, which is also really interesting itself. I love that. I love this game. Um, however, this isn't really everything that has to be offered, though, because I also know, from what I heard at least, every uh, at least content from the first Grand Prix is back. And that is great because in the Switch version, I kind of missed out a few of them. I missed up a whole lot in the PS4 version because I've been playing more Switch version than I've been playing it all on PS4. 
But it's still really cool to see that we are getting some content back, including all of the interesting stuff that we actually have to see here. And of course, if you yeah, if you go back to um, if you go back to the list that shows up what we are getting in the pit stuff and stuff. You can also see the champion card also has the style there actually has Nina on it, which is also really cool. I like that. Uh, so yeah, not too much else to say, I guess. I think that is pretty much it. Uh, I will, of course, like I usually do, show off the stage uh, in action so you can see what the stage looks like and how it plays like. Uh, which is gonna happen as soon as I unlock Nina, of course. So that's cool. I can't wait to try this uh, new stage. And yeah, this is one of the things. There's a new cup added too that adds all of the previous uh, three stages, including Nina's Nightmare, I think, into one cup. And that's really cool too. So yeah, uh, I'm sure there's gonna be some um, missions based around that cup somewhere um, during the month. I'm expecting to. So uh, yeah, that's interesting stuff. I can't wait to see what this, uh, how the stage feels like. Oh, everything, costumes. The character. I'm curious about what the, um, the new characters' defaults are because you know when it comes to their their acceleration and stuff. It's something I really find interesting to know what the default really is. Now we can use them anything, but. I wanna know. Anyway, so yeah, let me know what you feel about this by posting down in the comments below. And be sure to subscribe to Miniature Tuberty for the tour of the upcoming uh, new stage and more gaming videos like this one. And be sure to subscribe to Miniature. I already just said that, but yeah, for more Crash Game, just subscribe for more Crash Bandicoot news updates in general as well. And that is pretty it, so I thank you guys so much for watching, Minute 240, signing out.